What's up, what's going on legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter here, and in today's video, we are playing some Black Ops Cold War. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can overall improve yourself in this game, how you can practice and do things that will overall make you a better player. And honestly, if you're new to Call of Duty in general, this is a great way for you to overall get some time in and also, you know, get used to certain weapons and be able to just not only, you know, get some time in and experience, but then also be able to improve as you go. Now, there's a very good way to do this, obviously jumping into multiplayer matches and playing against real people is a great way to get better at the game. But there's always another way that you can do this, and that's going to be during private match or custom games. And also they have a versus bots mode right here on the front if you go to multiplayer. So if you go over to the versus bots thing and select it, it allows you to select a game mode, it allows you to change the map, and then you can just start the map from there. It doesn't seem like you can change any of the settings from this mode specifically. But don't worry, you can actually still do that here. If you go to custom games, you can have a very similar experience. You can change your map. First of all, I'm going to change the mode. Let's do free for all. We're going to go ahead and go here. Select the map. I want to do checkmate. I haven't played checkmate. We're going to go here. Winning conditions. We could set that down. Go ahead and go to unlimited. Maybe we'll put this up to 50. Do a little bit extra here. Um, you can change certain things like how many points you get per kill. You know, how this spawns. How many number of lives you get. The gameplay experience, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this down to like 5. We'll get, get into the game a little quicker. So you can set restrictions on what weapons are allowed, what weapons aren't allowed. That's overall a really cool feature. We're going to go ahead and save those settings. It's really weird that it makes you save everything. But you can do bots and players here, so you can actually add bots. I don't know how many it's going to let me add. Alright, we at least have a few. You know, it's not the same as we've had in the past where you were able to have like 11 players in, you know, as far as bots. So that gave you quite a few people to play against. Um, we're going to go ahead and see. Looks like everything's probably pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, and we're going to actually give it a shot here. But like I said, you know, you're going to have your, your weapons. I think, I don't really think I have any custom class made. Let's make a class real quick here. Oh, wait, it does. It does have one for this. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, there are no... Oh, okay, there's camos. We're just gonna throw a random camo on. We'll use this. It looks kind of like, you know, the theme to my channel, so go with it. All right, so then we can go ahead and hit play. Now you're probably wondering, why would you want to jump into private match? I'm telling you, this is the best way to at least warm up in the game. And if you do it enough and you practice often, your accuracy will, will improve. You'll learn the maps a little bit better if there's a map you feel like you just don't really understand. And it'll just give you opportunity to get a lot of practice in. The best way to improve at something is to do it a lot. And literally, we're going to run around and just shoot some bots here and see how we do. But you know what? I'm running a PS5 controller. I'm used to having the back buttons. I'm just not so used to it yet. So we're going to just see. That's the melee button. Forgot I switched it. Oh, man. But basically... You're going to be able to uh, get a lot of practice here. I don't even really know this map. I just ran into a grenade. I don't really know this map at all, so it's going to give me the opportunity to kind of learn it a little bit and also practice my shots. Especially with, you know, the change to the controller, I'm going back to a standard controller from something that had buttons on the bottom. Enemy gives me that opportunity to kind of get a better feel for it without a cost to my, you know, overall stats on the regular game. If you're one of those people that do care about your stats or, you you know, you want it to reflect how you feel like you play in the game, sometimes this is a nice way to go. That way, if you're, you know, having a slow start holy smokes if you're having a slow start i'll give you the opportunity to kind of warm up here maybe you'll play a little bit you know slow here and then you'll get warmed up and be able to take take that into the game but overall the idea here is it's a, it's a good way to practice a lot of people do this you know i don't know if you guys are familiar with face mamaj he's one of the best snipers in call of duty and this man shoots thousands of bots every day pretty much before he even goes into the game and plays normally so that just tells you that there is, you know, really, really top tier players that do this. It's a really good strategy to improve. And overall, it'll get, lets you get a feel for, you know, certain... You can even do it with certain attachments. You're trying to figure out what attachments you, you know, you like more. This is another way you can do that. You kind of test them out here in private match. See how you feel about them. Maybe something stands out and you'll want to take that into a regular match. Um, another thing about private match that's cool is that you... You can set, you know, different modes. You can even change how many players there are. Again, it's kind of a little bit interesting that you're limited to, what is it, seven seven bots, I think, with me included in here, so eight people. But 
in the past you were able to do like 11, 12, and I don't know if there's any, you know, maps of small as shipment, but shipment was a great mode or map in uh, Modern Warfare for this because it was just so fast paced. Oh god. I'm still getting used to this controller. This is weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. But again, it gives you the opportunity to kind of get used to certain things. Make, maybe buy control freaks for the first time. Highly recommend those. This is definitely a good way to practice and, and get used to those without having to do that all in game. Just gives you a lot of opportunities to improve. Allows you to kind of get your accuracy dialed in. You can find different spots. You can learn the maps. You can try to come up with different strategies on how to play certain things. Overall, it's a great way to help you not only improve, but get some practice and warm-up time in before you jump into the game, and it counts for real. Feeling pretty good about the controller. The haptic feedback part of this is a little bit weird because we are on the PS5, but overall, I think it's great. This map is fairly large for a free-for-all. God, my ammo's off right there. That's exactly what I mean. What are these, ammo crates? Oh, you can actually pick up somebody else's. That's really random. We're see, we're learning right now. We're learning things. But this is, this is highly recommended to players of all skill levels. I mean, it's a great like a way, great way to warm up. Great way to help improve. Make sure your aim's on point. Maybe you're a little tired. It's gonna tell you. It'll maybe even tell you if you don't want to necessarily get into the game and uh, waste your time if you're just gonna be getting murdered the whole time. I used this tactic for many years. Um, for me, it started back in like the Black Ops 1 or 2 days, just sniping. I think it was Black Ops 1, to be honest. So it helped me learn how to quickscope. I wanted to quickscope back then. Same thing here. If you guys want to get better at sniping, this could be a good way to practice. You know, quickscoping in general, it t does take some time, takes some, some, you know, experience at overall to just be good at it. Just, you could spend all your time trying to improve with that in here. Maybe you're having a hard time controlling recoil with the AK-47. You can come in here, you can practice against bots, and it won't count against you. I mean, I can't think of a better way to get, you know, familiar with stuff, get into the game, get warmed up, practice, improve your aim. There's just, just so many pluses to doing this on a regular basis. He just marted on me. Dude was holding a grenade. I think it was a different player. But basically, I did a very similar video for this for Modern Warfare. I think a lot of people were interested in it, so I wanted to kind of give you guys the same vibe here in Black Ops Cold War. Let you guys know which place you should be if you want to try to, you know, overall improve your gameplay. There's obviously some other strats for multiplayer that we'll talk about in a later video. That, but overall, I think this is a great start for people. I think it's something that most people overlook and, you know, don't really think about. But again, I want to make sure I shared it with you guys again this year. But that's going to wrap things up for today's video. I appreciate you guys all tuning in today. And hopefully you guys enjoyed, found this helpful, and if you did, make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 30 likes on today's video. As well as, if you guys are interested in finding your way back to the channel for more Cold War content, tips, gameplays, best class setups, we're going to do it all this year. Make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you miss out on any future content. I appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!